Hello everybody, Scott Golding here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and we continue our foray into positive things and into the nature of trying to get as much information as we can for your benefit in a variety, on a variety of topics. Uh, we got over 1100 of these available, we continue to add as often as we can, usually several times per week. This particular audio is about uh, kind of, um, you know, looking at uh, if, if you've ever been in love with a friend before, if you're trying to have better relationships going into 2022 and beyond, would love to be of service to you in that way, uh, connect with you if we can, and ultimately get you to a, a place where your relationships are in the best possible place ever for you, for your future, and for the life that you desire. The first is, are you jealous of, of when they're spending time with other people? Jealousy is often a sign that you are uh, having emotional feelings related to love uh, on a consistent basis about a person who you're trying to tell yourself is platonic. A lot of times we lie to ourselves if we don't want that, that best friend to be a potential romantic partner. If we're uncomfortable taking that leap, that leap of faith, that risk, we would all, a lot of times we'll say, oh, well, you know, I just I really like them or whatever the case may be. The next is if you're excited to see them consistently and you're trying to create changes in your schedule to be changes in your schedule to be able to see them on a consistent basis. If you're making those changes, it's usually because you have a desire for a deeper relationship with them, usually into a uh, romantic uh, area. And oftentimes we may not even realize or see that that's what we're doing. The next is if you're comfortable being affectionate with them, either verbally or physically, uh, continuation of, of affection can lead to a sign or be a sign of, of that that desire for something deeper, something more meaningful, and ultimately connect us in that way. Um, the next thing is kind of a willingness to be open on an emotional level, open to experience with them, open to new experiences, open to seeing them differently, open to uh, connecting with them on a deeper level and being more honest and more open and more consistent with showing emotion uh, if you're willing to talk about them with other people if, if they come up in conversations with your other friends or your family or the people that are in your inner circle and what they're doing how they're you know um you know uh doing and and the struggles are going through the positives are going through the negatives are going through and all that stuff can be super super valuable in a in a number of ways um it's 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty big struggle, um, and, and ultimately, it's, it's there. So the next thing is kind of looking to, uh, if you're not interested in anybody else, if your attraction level or your willingness to look at anyone else as a potential partner suddenly dips, it's often because you have love for a person who is uh, certainly in a, in a, you know, different at a different level or in a different level with you and that can be uh, super challenging and then the, the last thing is if the time you spend with them never feels like enough so if as you're spending time with a person you're automatically or looking to have another relationship in the future in their direction and, and kind of or another interaction with them and you're you're automatically always thinking hey how can we do this again when can we do this again if you have those feelings and those emotions it's because you have a love for them and a lot of times especially with people that have been through a lot of trauma or people that that have severe trust issues or or issues in that general direction it can be difficult even to begin to admit that you have those emotions towards another person to admit that you might want to spend more time with them because it leaves you vulnerable and so confronting vulnerabilities, confronting the, the, the potential to need to take risks as it relates to having a relationship with a person and connecting with them on a deeper level and, and knowing that there is there is a risk to be taken but being okay with it. And all of those things are something that coaching can help you through. I would love to be of service to you in 2022 and beyond in, in helping figure all that out and find a, a lifestyle that you can live with and find the relationship that's that's right for you and and ultimately all of that is possible would love to be of service please feel free to reach out at po perception on twitter or in the about me section uh until next time keep your feet on the ground your mind in the moment until next time everybody